Hindu mob, including off-duty policemen, attack Christian gathering in India. Recently, a mob of right-wing Hindu fundamentalists, accompanied by an off-duty police officer, launched an attack on a private home where Christians had gathered for a prayer meeting in the East Central Indian state of Chachis. Ch oh, fuck. These names are so hard. Chhattisgarh. Garth. Anyways, according to the UK-based human rights organization, Christian Solidarity Worldwide, or CSW, the mob uh, initiated the attack on the Christian's home around 9 p.m. on the night of October 21st. Uh, roughly 15 Christians were physically assaulted. Reportedly, the attackers also demanded that the Christians denounce their faith. However, on the following day of October 22nd, when the victims went to register a first information report, FIR, or like a good kind of, um, or it's a kind of police complaint, the station house officer allegedly verbally abused them, insulted their religion, and refused to accept their complaints. The police refused to file a complaint claiming that they didn't have any permission to register any case related to per Christian persecution. Okay, give a, give us a break to them. What so this is like another situation where people are accused of doing like mass conversions and forced conversions and stuff. And then, so then they are then gone and abused and persecuted. And then when people go to try to address the fact that they were like, abused and persecuted, um, then they're blamed for it, essentially. And these quote-unquote laws to preserve religious freedom, aka stop forced confessions, allegedly are actually used against the minorities. Wait, what are we watching here? Hold on, let me play this. So, this, this is actually a video of something that happened last year. Oh, so, so this is similar to that. Yes. So there, this was an example that a reporter was given, basically saying, like, this isn't the first time that this has happened in this area. Mm, okay. But people when be angry. people will go into Christian prayer areas and then beat them up and assault them. When they're like, this is our supposed to be our own space. Like, if we can't even do this in our own space where can we do it you know it's different than muslims giving namaz in public or something because they're not even doing this in public they're doing this in their own you know well, what's the body. argument from the other side why are they so pissed they're like you're I turning mean, us you're turning us to a christian nation and you're making us more abrahamized and you're, you're forgetting changing your India. past and you need to come back you're, you're, blah, you're blah, trying blah, 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 to change blah. india's identity to christian and stuff like that yeah and they also say that this is not like uh, like we're like hey this is their free choice like when i be able to be christian you have to let them they're like they act like no like i hear that so many times from hindu like they know this is like they're, they they're not there out of their from their choice they're being brainwashed so like who are you to this? Like they're like this is man spray washing. These people are not going there out of their own, um, you know, based on their own will. Like, how, like. Well, Christian, historically, the, the, I mean, the there's, there's historically yeah. there's a ton of instances of people being incentivized to go to the mosque, go to Christian. Yeah, yeah, but then they take that. Particular. Yeah. But they, but these and then people look like they're receiving they're... aid is on the condition of becoming Christian. Like historically, this is like a thing. This has happened. This is true. Okay, but that still is within their choice. They're like, okay, give me like whatever aid, and I'll come here. Like at the end of the day, you can't claim that these people are being forced to go there. They look like they are haven't been forced to go there, but that's the actual claim. Like if you were on Twitter, when I used to argue about these things with people on Twitter, they were like, "This is not, this is not their choice." I'm like, "I don't." By the see way, RIP to our Twitters. <laughs> yeah, still I was like, I don't, see, I don't see any chains on their legs or anything like that. So I don't know what you're talking. Okay, about. but Armin, you know it's not as simple as that. What if someone is saying? Okay, because of the impoverishment of my area, I have no choice but to go try to receive aid from other people. 
And the only way in which I can receive that aid is conditional upon me renouncing my faith, which is, you know, indigenous to my area or whatever. And I have to convert to their faith to be able to receive the aid that I need to feed myself, to continue to live and to provide for my family. Sounds like to me. That's like sound, need... that's still co what is that not coercive on the basis of the conditions of your environment? I mean, it's better than if it wasn't there. Sounds to me sounds like to me that if it wasn't there, you would go hungry. I know, but no, but to play devil's advocate, if that's the situation that one is faced in, what choice and do feed, you have? Your choice is like, okay, you get them that aid then. Like, what are you going to do? You know, this person like, is impoverished. They can't give aid to other people. Oh, I know, mean but what do you, what do you, okay, so here's saying, like, you're beating them up because they're looking between, they're choosing between a bad situation and a worse situation, and they're choosing the bad one. Yeah, I but see what you're saying. Like, what are you going to do? Like, you're going to take that. They should offer them alternatives them? instead of a, yeah. assaulting them for it. <laughs> you can't force. You can't force them not to take the aid. If if you can, if you don't like it, come up with a better offer. And if you can, well, this is the option that they have. What are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah, I see your point. Um, yeah, there it is. Um. I mean, also, they do generalize. Like, some of them might be like this, okay? But a, a lot of Hindus in India consider every, like, just because they have examples of some coercion, they refuse to believe that there's any of this that is happening without coercion. That's like, also they just, true. They generalize it to every single conversion that they see. Like, oh, these people are coerced. Like, no shit. You're just butthurt over the fact that people don't like Hinduism that much. Oh, we get another super chat. Oh, thank you, GJ, for another super chat. St. Armin, you read Christianity extremely differently than how I was taught about it to the point that I'm not even recognizing if we're talking about the same religion. Which book did you read? It's called The Bible. <laughs> That's the one I read. I read that multiple times. Um, but yeah, that's how that's how it came across to me. And I would argue that I have... A, that more accurate description of the religion. I mean, it literally says the things I just told you. So you could argue that. Yeah. Tells Sometimes you... it's good to get an outside perspective. Like when I hear people who were never Christian talking about Christianity, I'm like, oh my God, you're right. That is super weird. I never thought about it like that. Like the Eucharist. I'm like, wait, this is literally like a human sacrifice blood ritual every Sunday. Yes. I never thought about it like that. What the hell? <laughs> It's like it's bizarre. It's a very weird well, especially religion. if you believe in transubstantiation. As a Catholic, you have to. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> no, Christian Christianity very directly teaches, like very clearly teaches you that the only way through kingdom of heaven is through Jesus Christ. Okay, um, which is a very disgusting teaching, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, independent for what you have done in your in your life um but yeah but if you want we could have that we could we could have a discussion about that um american is calling uh the eucharist cannibalism with extra steps i like this <laughs> yeah and we got a super chat from trells thank you trells um and he's you know this is a joke he's saying what does a persian guy do to hide something embarrassing he sweeps it under the carpet and it on shh but i'm shh but i'm shh do you know why he writes Persian like that? Yeah, because YouTube live chat blocks you from sending super chats that contain the word Persian. Why? I think it's because um, of uh, Iran being banned from the, what's it called, the IETF? It's the, it's, the, it's the name of an ethnicity. No, this is a huge problem, actually. And this is the one thing that Nyack got right. Nyack has sent letters to like PayPal because PayPal has this problem. Like a bunch of a bunch of payment companies have this problem where you're not allowed to send payment to someone if it contains the word Persian in it. And wow. or let alone anything related to Iran. If it has the word Iran in it, there's no way that payment is going through, regardless of what it is. But if it's the word Persian, that also doesn't go through. So 
like, Why? being because sent out the lots of letters addressing companies basically saying like this is racist and it actually is okay okay as racist as it is okay however do not ever say the word say the sentence nayak is right about this that's like that's like blasphemy i know it is but also i'm not gonna submit to a fucking mob i know i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding Shit. and i think that's am i wrong in, okay maybe i won't take you down with me i think that that like yeah we can agree that this is yeah. wrong. Yes, yes, yes. God forbid. Um, yeah, Charles said, yep, Super Chat would not let me write the word without using the exclamation mark. Yes. We could we could turn that into a Wait, should we even say Persian on the YouTube's algorithm now? Is that from the swear word? <laughs> the word is now banned <laughs> from our vocabulary, guys. Yeah. The P word. Let's call it the P word. All right. Can we clap for the next news? That wet ass P word. <laughs> oh my god, I wasn't ready for that. Uh, oh my god, I wasn't ready for that. That was a Ben Shapiro reference, by the way. Yeah, hell yeah, it was. <laughs> um, oh, so we got, um, what is that? What's that, what's that currency? Is that Mexican uh, I believe pesos? It's Mexican pesos. Oh, thank you. 13 Mexican pesos by Paco. How do you Arce. Read that? Arce. Thank you so much, Paco Arce. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, censorship. Is, yeah, oh, yeah. Wait, I did the Korean version. But you're doing it wrong. <laughs> there. There you go. You figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out. Susie Brook. <laughs> People are saying you're Brooke Armin. <laughs> Susie Brook Armin. You can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese god, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.